If I asked you where you are in your menstrual cycle right now, would you know? Most women, unless we're on our period, really don't have a good idea of what's happening the rest of the month. Hi there, my name is Tanya Neely. I'm a registered yoga teacher with extensive training in yoga psychology and a master's in education. Now the basis of a healthy period and a healthy menstrual cycle in general really depends a lot on how we respond to stress in our life. Yoga is a fantastic tool to manage stress for a variety of different reasons. And in our yoga practice today, we're really going to get into nourishing ourselves with movement, with breath, and with quiet as well. Hi there, before we get started with our yoga practice today, I just wanted to share a few tips and tools with you. So first and foremost, if you have any um, pillows, feel free to grab them for some of the restorative poses. They can feel really, really good. So pillows or blocks. Um, another tool that I love to use during my menstrual cycle or even that PMS time is an essential oil blend. It's a monthly blend for women called Clary Calm. This is really wonderful for helping to balance out those changing hormones in our body. And it comes in a roller, so I will just do um, pulse points or over the uterus, especially if I'm experiencing any kinds of cramping or things like that. This practice is going to focus a lot on the pelvic floor, and so I wanted to give you some ideas of what that is and how to understand the state of health of your pelvic floor. So first and foremost, the pelvic floor is like a bowl. It's a network of muscles that connect between the hips, the pubic bone, the coccyx, and form kind of like this hammock or bowl shape um, supportive system right here in your pelvis. If you are trying to conceive uh, for the first time around or even a second or third, it's a really great opportunity to check in with the state of health of your pelvic floor. Um, you want to kind of get a baseline of where you're at right now and it'll help you understand any changes that might occur after having a baby. So there are three ways to get a really good baseline of your pelvic floor before having a baby or a second or third baby. So first and foremost, get out a mirror and have a look at your vagina. It'll give you a good idea if there's any changes after the fact, if you know what's happening down there before the fact. The second one is to understand that every woman, everyone has some kind of separation in your abdominal, between your abdominal muscles here in the middle. Um, but often after with big weight changes or after pregnancy, that separation can increase because those muscles get stretched. And if it increases over a certain amount, it's considered diastasis recti. So really quick way to get the baseline is to lie down flat on the back, knees facing up, and then take two fingers, your middle and index finger, and place them right above your navel. And you're gonna lift your head and shoulders and feel into any gap or dip underneath your fingers. Okay? If it's one finger, that's about normal. Everyone has some kind of separation. If it's more, two or more, then you might wanna check in with a pelvic floor specialist. They can help you to determine if any kind of other exercises or um, therapies are needed for that. And then last but not least, let's talk quickly about how your pelvic floor works. So your pelvic floor actually follows your tummy. As you breathe in, your diaphragm drops down and your belly expands, right? If you've ever tried to breathe while holding your tummy, oftentimes we you know, suck in our stomachs or we kind of hold ourselves, especially in this core area. It's really difficult for us to take a full deep breath and our breath ends up way up here in our chest. So just try that for a second. Try um, sucking in your tummy, holding in your tummy, and then try taking a deep breath. There just isn't anywhere for that diaphragm to move. And so you want to find some relaxation and some release in this tummy area, in the abdominal area, that's gonna allow for your pelvic floor to have a lot more ability to move freely, as well as your diaphragm to have a lot more ability to move freely. Let's get started. We're gonna start off just in a seated position today comfortable seat, whatever that means to you. You might like a cushion right away underneath the hips just to lift them up a little bit. Nice. And find what works best for your body. 
take a minute right away to tune into that tummy region, that abdominal region, and just see if you're gripping or holding in any way. And if you are, just let it go. And go ahead and close the eyes and really feel into the sits bones connected to the pillow or the mat beneath you. See if you can go along through the spine. And then just for a soften, relax through the face, the eyes and the jaw. Let the shoulders drape down the back. Let the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. And as that belly is relaxed, remember you're doing this together on our own, right? In our own living rooms or wherever you may be. Really just let that release. Create a lot of space for the pelvic floor to relax, for the diaphragm to drop as you inhale, letting yourself fill up the lungs, feeling them expand in all directions, up and down, side to side, and front to back. And sometimes it can take a little while to settle in and just drop into your body, get out of your head for a little bit. Keep that focus, that awareness on the breath. Make it maybe take a two or three count inhale. A three or four count exhale. One more, just like that. And let it out. Nice. Well, open the eyes. We're just going to connect with our pelvic floor here. So I want you to reach the chest forward, tilting the tailbone back, tipping your pelvic floor, and then take it in the opposite direction. Curl the spine, round through the spine, tipping the pubic bone up. On an inhale, swap it out. Stretch the heart forward. Exhale, curl round through the back. And just imagine as you move here with your own breath, imagine that pelvic floor like a bowl filled with Let's say a golden liquid today. See if you can imagine what happens with that liquid as you tilt your pelvis in either direction. Take one more good inhale and one more good exhale. And we'll come back to neutral. Nice, we're gonna plant the left palm in, have the right hand up and over. Really push the right hip down into the mat. Maybe the gaze turns up towards the sky, maybe not. Breathe into that right side body, relax the knees, relax the thigh bones. And release and take it to the other side. Right hand plants on an inhale, sweep that left arm up and over. Press the left hip down into the mat, relax through the leg. Find a deep inhale here. Feel the rib cage open on that left side. And then come back to center. Nice. We're just going to rock back a little bit. And I'm going to take my right knee, connect it to my left foot, and take that right foot behind me. I'm going to take a little seated twist here. So inhale, reach up long through the side, body all the way up to the fingertips, and then let's take it to the left. Right hand meets left knee, left hand comes behind you, just finding a little twist. We're here for a few breaths. Again, releasing, relaxing through the belly. As you inhale, think of creating some length in the spine. As you exhale, imagine that diaphragm moving with the breath. Imagine that pelvic floor relaxing, releasing. On an inhale, think of that pelvic floor lifting up as the diaphragm drops down. On an exhale, the diaphragm relaxes up, the pelvic floor releases down. Take one more inhale and exhale here. 
and bring it back to center. Let's swap it out. Right leg comes in front, left foot comes behind again on an inhale, sweep the arms up nice and tall. Exhale, find that twist, right hand plants behind, left hand comes to the knee. Again, tune in here, keeping that focus on the pelvic floor, using the breath as a guide. Creating some length on your inhales, imagining that pelvic floor lifting up and then relaxing and releasing. You can also try what's called considered a Kegel here. On an inhale, activating the muscles around the vagina, not the anus, not the belly, just the vagina. And then on an exhale, letting it go. Take one more breath here. And exhale, release and come back to center. Let's bring those knees back around. We're just gonna take a few rocks here, massage the spine up and down. One more. Nice. We'll plant the feet and we're gonna just take a nice little rag doll here. So take those feet hip width apart. Let the head be heavy like a pumpkin on a vine. Maybe the hands stay connected to the earth. Maybe opposite hand meets opposite elbow. We'll find a little sway here. We'll curl those feet a little closer together. Bend the knees a lot. Tuck the tail. Curl up through the spine. Let the arms come along for the ride. Reach up tall towards the sky. Palms come to meet. Draw the thumbs down towards the heart. And take a minute here to close the eyes. Lift all ten toes. Spread them wide. Press them down into the mat like you're making a footprint in the sand. And then just check in with your alignment here. So head over heart, heart over that pelvic floor, and notice what's happening there now. Are you already gripping? Can you release the tummy? Can you let it relax? Are you tucking that tailbone in? Can you let it relax? There should be a slight curve in that lumbar spine there in the back. And if you notice, if you try to tuck your tailbone in and you can't, it's because you're already tucking it in. So just release that, let it go. Nice, we'll open the eyes, inhale, sweep the arms tall. And exhale, fold it forward. Half lifted here. Long spine, exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, sweep it up tall. Hands come together, exhale down to the heart. We'll take that one more time. Inhale, sweep it high. Relax through the pelvic floor. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, find that half lift. Exhale, fold. On an inhale, sweep the arms up nice and tall. Resist the urge to clench the abdomen. Exhale, hands come into heart center. Nice, we're gonna take chair pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up nice and tall. Exhale, sit the hips back. Now you can keep the knees together, squeezing those legs together, or if it feels more stable, take the feet about hip width apart. And again, notice what's happening in that pelvic floor. Are you holding anywhere? Find a good deep inhale here. Exhale, hands come to heart center. We're gonna take a twist. Left elbow meets right knee pressing into the palms and then check in with those knees make sure they're nice and parallel sometimes that left one likes to creep out in front of the right holding here for one deep full breath nice we'll come back to center chair pose and take it to the other side right elbow meets left knee pressing into those palms create some length in the spine Extend long through the crown of the head on an inhale and on an exhale. See if you can deepen that twist. One more full breath here. Let's take a forward fold, exhale. Nice, inhale, sweep it up top. 
exhale hands come into heart center nice we're going to inhale lift the arms reaching tall plant that left foot right knee rises 90 degrees stepping it back warrior one nice breathing in breathing out let that belly be nice and soft warrior two opening the arms gazing past the fingertips reaching out in equal and opposite directions and check in with that left big toe and notice what's happening can you release can you tune into sensation there nice we're going to inhale reaching the arms up turning toes out heels in palms come to meet goddess pose pull the hands down sink low deep squat here nice now on an inhale we're going to straighten the legs and i want you to pay attention to how this area engages so inhales rise tall exhale squat release relax inhale rise tall exhale release relax last one inhale reach the arms as you straighten through the legs toes coming parallel exhale forward fold prasarita let the head be heavy here just enjoy this little forward fold nice easy inversion option good take one more full breath here exhale it out inhale sweep those arms all the way up and let's take warrior two to the opposite side so turning right toes to the front left heel to the back warrior two sink low find your alignment find that deep breath softening through the pelvic floor good and warrior one sweep that left hand up and around nice we'll step the feet to meet hands come to heart center pause tune in good let's take it back in the opposite direction sweep the arms up nice and high left knee rises flex through that foot and then step it back warrior one good warrior two open it up nice strong steady foundation relaxed soft pelvis and then inhale come back through center heels in toes out palms to touch exhale take it down inhale straighten through the legs notice what's happening exhale take it down soften inhale rise tall last time exhale it down inhale straighten through the legs reach up through the fingertips turn toes parallel exhale prasarita deep fold find the breath let it be deep let it expand the rib cage in all directions nice on an inhale sweep the arms back up and we'll take warrior two back to where we started nice drop that right hand sweep it around warrior one and we'll step the feet to meet hands come to heart center close the eyes tune in soften where you need to soften and we'll take it on back down to the floor inhale sweep the arms tall exhale fold it forward find a half lift here draw the hands up to that hip crease press into the hip bones grow long through the spine and on an exhale release take it down plant the palms let's walk it back to a plank and then just drop the knees nice find that cat and cow here so we tried it seated let's try it in tabletop inhale dropping the navel lifting the chin Again, tuning into that pelvic floor exhale curl it in tuck it under following your own breath take the full inhale to meet your cow and the full exhale to complete your cat we often focus on the ending pose or posture or shape 
but it's all these little transitions in between that are just as important. One last round. Nice, let's meet in tabletop. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. We're gonna lift up the knees and hover. Notice how the pelvic floor, the abdomen engages. You're here for five. Keep the breath moving. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, walk the hands back. I'm gonna slide to the side, coming over onto a hip and just taking the feet around. We're just gonna come down onto the mat today. So setting up kind of like for bridge pose. My feet are planted on the mat, knees pointing up, and I'm gonna let my back of the neck go really long against the mat. And as I inhale, I'm just gonna push my lower back into the mat, tilting my pubic bone, my pelvis up. And then exhale, release. Bring that natural curve back in. Inhale, tuck it under. And exhale, let it out. Three more like that on an inhale. Tuck it under. Exhale, release. Two more, inhaling, feeling into that abdominal area. Exhale, release. And maybe trying one of those Kegels. So as you inhale, Pulling up through the pelvic floor, lifting it up, and exhale, release. Nice, we're gonna press into bridge pose, so this time lifting up the hips. Press down through the feet as you inhale, peel the back up and off as you lift through the hips, let the back of the neck grow really long, and then exhale, release the spine one vertebrae at a time back down to the mat. Two more like that. Inhale, slowly peeling the back body up off the mat. Exhaling, releasing, softening back in to the earth. Last one like this. Inhaling and exhaling it down. This time we're gonna add the arms along with it. So as I inhale, I'm gonna lift my hips Draw the arms up and over, reaching behind me. And on an exhale, I'm gonna press them down, pressing out my breath like a French press coffee maker, Ooh, all the way down. Inhale, sweep the arms, lift the hips, back of the neck grows really long. Exhale, press it out, ride the full exhale all the way down. One more, inhale, lift, sweep, Exhale, release all the breath, nice. We're gonna leave that left foot planted. I'm gonna cross right ankle over right knee and this might be enough right here. Or you might like to lift up that left leg, maybe grab behind the thigh bone or the shin. So finding a little figure four hip stretch here, breathing into that hip. And releasing some of those muscles that are connected to the pelvic floor. This whole area is all connected. And it does a really amazing job of supporting the body, supporting the reproductive organs, all the digestive organs. It's like a big spider web, kind of, as we're coming up to Halloween here this year. It's like a big spider web that just holds everything together, supports it. Take one more good breath here. Nice, and slowly release it down. We're gonna take a little twist. So my arms are going to come out to the side. My right foot's coming down towards the floor. Taking a little twist here, and maybe my left hand is just gonna push on that knee, opening up the hip, or maybe it'll pull that knee down, creating a bigger stretch in that right hip. And I'm gonna to gaze towards my right hand. Pay attention to the story your body has to tell and what feels good today. Know that every day you come to your mat, your body might look a little different. The days that you come when you're on your period, you might want to take some slower movements. You might want to hold poses for a longer period of time. 
giving yourself time to rest and relax, nourishing yourself through gentle movement. Take one more breath here. And slowly release. And we'll swap it out. Right foot plants, left ankle crosses at right knee. Nice, again, <clears throat> reaching through, grabbing that just right spot for that deep hip stretch on the left side. Using the breath to explore areas in the body where you can soften. Noticing those areas of the body that are activated or engaged. As you breathe in deeply, imagine that diaphragm dropping, pelvic floor lifting. Maybe try one of those kegels here. See if you can relax through the anus, relax through the belly, and just lift up through the pelvic floor. Might feel kind of funny at first, might take a little practice, that's okay. Take one more breath here. Slowly release that right foot down. Arms can come out to the side. Left foot's going to connect with the floor. Gaze goes to the left. Maybe that knee creates a little bit more pressure or stretch for the hip. Maybe it pushes it out in a way. Maybe it just stays on the floor. Find what works for you today. Let the breath be deep, the body be soft. Come back to that image of the pelvic floor as a bowl holding that beautiful golden liquid. Right now, that liquid is still, no waves. Maybe it creates a little bit of a glow from the inside out. One more breath here. Slowly unwind, come back to center, and we'll give both of those knees a hug, taking the shoulders out, the knees rather out wide towards the shoulders. We'll let those arms come out to the side. Knees are going to come up here to 90 degrees, and we're just going to do a few little toe taps to engage that pelvic floor. So again, press the sacrum, the lower back into the mat. We're going to drop right toe and bring it up and drop the left. And you can stay here like this, dropping one at a time. Really tune into what's happening in the core, what's happening in this pelvic floor area of the body. Or you can also decide to drop both at the same time. So both feet coming to touch and then coming up. Take a few more rounds here. As you draw those knees back up, press the lower back into the mat. If you're doing one leg at a time, make sure you do one more on each side. And if you're taking both together, let's do two more. And last one. Nice, draw those knees in one more time. Take them wide. And we'll come to happy baby, reaching the soles of the feet up towards the sky, grabbing onto the inner arch, letting those knees draw open. And maybe rocking side to side if that feels good. Nice, we'll come back to center. And for Shavasana, you can let the legs go long, or I'll invite you to try Supta Baddha Konasana. And I've grabbed my pillows because sometimes it feels good to have a little support under the knees here. But my soles of the feet are coming to touch. My knees are splaying out to the side. My lower back, my sacrum is connected to the earth. And you can stack up as many pillows here as you need to make this feel really comfortable. Or if you don't need a pillow, just take it away. Let the arms 
either come out to the side or if you like you can take index fingers to touch thumbs to touch creating this triangle all fingers can relax actually and we'll just place that right over the womb center so my thumbs are right about my belly button my navel height and my fingers are pointing down and as you inhale and exhale feel into this part of the body See if you can let the belly or tummy rise and fall naturally, really comfortably. Softening through the face, the eyes, the jaw, the tongue. Let the body melt into the mat. Honoring this time of the month. Giving yourself time to rest. Relax. And release. Relax. and release. And enjoying your Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me today for this Yoga for a Healthy Period. If you would like more information about signs of a healthy period or have questions about trying to conceive, do check out FertileBloom.com, our latest blog post, and do make sure to join our fertility support group on Facebook. You can find all that information in the description below. As always, the light in me sees you and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.